So it looks like the 27th. It's going to happen on the 27th. What's happening on the 27th? The knee surgery. Oh, no. Yeah. <gasps> That's what it looks like. <coughs> Friday the 27th, everybody. Oh, Brett. It's going to be a fun Halloween for me. Oh. I blew out my ACL about six weeks ago playing basketball at the gym. It's good you're fixing it, though. I'm just happy that it happened during the greatest basketball play of my life. It's the Brett Davern Show, brought to you by Adobe Radio, in partnership with Nice Guy Digital, and recorded live in beautiful North Hollywood, California. On today's episode, Brett apologizes again. <laughs> We speak with Michael Galante, NBC's Will and Grace, from NBC's Will and Grace, Verizon Go 90's relationship status, and Freeform's Switch to Birth. We try to give away $50, we read your emails, <laughs> and I tell you the best thing I've seen today. Now let's get to the guy who's graduated high school three times. That's me. Your new best friend, mm -hmm. Brett Daver. Listen up, everybody. This is our show. Thank you for joining us live on Adobe Radio, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you want to join the fun, you can email or call the show anytime. The phone number is 1-888-99-ADOBE. Shout out a friend. Shout at us. Ask our guests questions. Whatever you want. It's all fair game. Once again, the phone number is 1-888-99-I-D-O-B-I. The email is bdsfans at idobe.com. That's B-D-S-F-A-N-S at idobe.com. Big show to get to today. Michael Galante going to be in studio Woo. with his square jaw and dimples and eyes. That you could stare in forever. He's a handsome man. He is dreamy. Yep. He really is. But before we get to all that, it's the second day in, the ro in a row, Katie, that uh, I have an apology to put out there in the world. This yeah. is becoming a running thing on the show. Three episodes in, two apologies. Uh, yesterday on the show, we played a song called One More Night, that is by my very good friend, Marty Shannon, uh, who used to be the co-host of the Brett Davern Show podcast. And he'll be coming in here as a guest a bunch of times because he's my friend and I'm going to make him. But we played his song yesterday on the show and I didn't mention that it was his song. And I didn't tell people where to go find it and all those things. And he didn't even call up and... Uh, you know, yell at me or anything. That's a good friend. Yeah, it's just that when I listen back, I realize that. So we played the song One More Night by Marty Shannon. Uh, he has a Spotify. You can go listen to that. He uh, One More Night is from the album 2600, which you can buy on iTunes and all that kind of good stuff. He's got a new EP coming soon, um, so check out that. You can follow him at Marty underscore Shannon on anything, Twitter and Instagram. He's really good. Mm hmm And Tinder as well. Wait, well, maybe not that one. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I just felt bad that I didn't mention it. We're going to be playing another so uh, song of his today on the show, so I'll be sure to mention it. So, Marty, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Let's play some music. Oh, also, wait. Hold on, pause it. Yep. <laughs> it's all right. Also, on today's show, we're going to be playing Guess Who's Higher, the IMDb Star Meter game. We're going to play with the very good-looking Michael Galante, and hopefully he'll be playing against a caller. So someone out there listening right now can call in and play the game against Michael. And if the caller wins, I will send that caller 50 bucks. So generous. I know. So if you want to win 50 bucks and have a good time playing a game and talk on the phone to a very good looking dark haired individual, you should call anytime during the show and we'll put you on hold and then we'll play the game with you. Now let's play some music. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now. 
instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. Hi, guys. I'm Alessia from Italy. I just wanted to say that this podcast is awesome. I've been following Katie since 2012. Thanks to Switched at Birth and seeing her so involved with this project fills my heart with joy. Thanks to her, you've got a new fan, Brett. Woo! Again, great job. Bye. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was another fan mail sent to bdsfans at adobe.com. See, guys, send us email. We'll read it on the air. Sometimes. Shout out to Alessia in Italy. Ciao, Bella. And you did the hand thing. And I did the hand did thing. Did you learn that from the Morano sisters yesterday? The Morano yesterday? sisters taught me that yesterday. Um, before we uh, keep going with the show, I have another apology to make. <laughs> Welcome to the Brett Davern Show Apology Hour. <laughs> Hi, Boy Wonder. Hey. And Katie LeClaire. It's National Coming Out Day today, Brett. Is it really? Yeah. It's also, it's my party day, so. Well, with all me talking about how good looking Michael is, maybe I got something to say. Ooh. Nah. Uh, that'd be weird to try to explain that at home later. Um, Michael, Hi. on that note, welcome to the show, bud. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks this for is, being here, pal. This is it's an honor to be here. I, I, I just want to say I love you guys, so this is going to be great. The pleasure, the pleasure is all ours. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys are awesome, by the way. This is really Thanks, awesome. man. Thanks for the support. This is like totally legit. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> yeah. Michael Galante, uh, Will and Grace, Thursdays, NBC, 9 p.m., also Relationship Status, and has spent some time with a show, well, Relationship Status spent some time with me. Oh, big time. Yeah, doing some scenes with me. We'll get into all that. Yeah. But also has uh, been forced to spend some time with Katie LeClaire on Switch to Birth. Forced. Uh -huh. he, it was unwilling. <laughs> he hated every minute of it. I'm surrounded by love right now. Even this oh. boy wonder person, he's... Look at that. Look let at me that tell smile. you. Look let me tell smile. all of you listening out there something about the uh, square jawed Michael Galante. <laughs> this morning oh. he walked in. The greatest guest we've with ever had. With coffee for everybody. You gotta mm. do it. How sweet is this guy? It's uh, what's it seven eight? We gotta do coffee. Guys. Three yeah. episodes yeah. in, Michael, you're my favorite guest. Oh, nice. Besides the Murano sisters. I mean, so that it's means okay. I'm, one I'm crushing it. That, I'm like, <laughs> you're killing it, dude. I'm killing it, dude. Where'd you grow up? Uh, Suffer, New York. Oh, yeah? Upstate New York. Upstate. East Coast. I always thought New York State ended right around, like, New White Plains. So everyone thinks, yeah, exactly. How do you know White Plains? Are you a New York guy? Buddy, I spent four years in the city. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, Upper West Side. So you get it. 80, West 83rd Street between Amsterdam and Columbus. Oh, man, my sister went to Columbia, so I spent some time yeah. there. Yeah. There was a joint up on 110th um, that we used Tyler? to go to called Mama Mexico. It's a restaurant, and they didn't card. So we spent a lot of time there. Are you <laughs> and the guy would come around and he would, uh, he ha just had a bottle of Jose Cuervo in his hand. Mm -hmm. And he would just tip your head back and pour tequila right into your mouth and then shake your head all around. Wow. Oh, dude, at 19, that was a good time. Yeah. I'm that's that's you. like Papa's and Beers in Mexico. Really? And if you're from what? San Diego, you go they to do Mexico. That there? No. I've never done that. Oh, boy. Anyway, so New York, huh? Yeah. Yeah. When did you get out to L.A.? I've been here for what, three, four, four years, something like that. All Doesn't right. Been that long. All right. But it's been good. Ellie's been good to me. I guess. Yeah. I, mean, I can't complain. Did at you all. ever spend time in the city in New York, or uh, just I did. upstate? I lived in downtown Manhattan for five years. It was amazing. Keep talking. Am I on mute? No. <laughs> Keep talking. I'm just uh, oh, yeah, making yeah, yeah. sure that people can see your face. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Downtown, We're just doing some adjusting on the fly. Keep downtown going. Downtown Manhattan was pretty amazing. Oh yeah, you were downtown. Yeah. Oh nice. Uh, me and my buddies had had a place down there. We. We were down in Soho, so it was pretty ritzy and regal. We had right. no right to be there, but we found this apartment sure. with really low rent, so we just went with it. Any apartment with low rent, you got to just jump on. It was it was incredible. It was actually too much of a good time. There's a lot of just <laughs> hanging out, and do, like exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So when I got out here, it was like I kind of had to leave the social life. How do you feel about New York versus L.A.? Because this is the big debate always. I got to tell you how I feel. I'll tell you how I feel first. For acting or for, for life? Just living, just in terms of like a city. I mean, I don't think anything can compare with New York. That's I, my opinion. Well, here's, I'm a little biased. My family's there. Sure. You know, and, that, sure. and then my friends are there. So yeah. it's in terms of like social and, and all that, I, I love New York City. It's right. It's just like home to me. Yeah. But I mean, this is a, 
LA is pretty amazing in terms of like geographic. And, it's awesome. And go be able to the beach and go skiing in the mountains. The, the is, raw natural beauty of California is amazing. 100%. But uh, sitting on the 405 for two hours to get to LAX is not very much fun. I, I mean, depending on where you live, obviously, but couldn't agree with you. More it's uh, that part of it sucks. Absolutely, I don't like driving. I don't like being alone in a car. It's very original of me to cl- uh, complain about LA traffic on the radio. Oh boy, <laughs> I've never heard. We're this breaking before. new ground here. That. No, this is. <laughs> do you remember your first audition? I do. Yeah. Check this out. Tell us for, about it. It was for Adam Yauk. Who's uh, that? The Beastie Boys. Oh. The one who passed away. I guess I like, should know first, that. Yeah, yeah. Can you edit that later? Or this is live radio. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, and I totally blew the audition. Really? Wait, that's my first one. What Wait, happened? you were going to be well, him well, or I, it was for no, him? No, it was for him. He was, he was doing an independent film on gra- graffiti in New York City. And I didn't know he was going to be there. Yeah. And it didn't matter. It shouldn't have mattered that he was there. But it was my first audition. So he got there and I was like... This is Adam. I love the Beastie Boys. Sure. You know? I'm like, I, I wait. Oh, he even audition. I totally just messed it up. I called my parents. Like, so you didn't is, know he was going to be there. You didn't know he was going to be there until you walked in the room. Yeah, and he was oh. there. I'm like, that's. And he was like, oh yeah, he's the producer. I'm like, what's yeah. wrong? I'm like, nothing's wrong. I'm ready to rock and roll. I totally blew the audition. It yeah. Was, you know, that's what happens. Well, how, how do you know you blew it? Did you like skip lines I, or I kept like looking at Adam Yelk? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do that when you've seen. <laughs> he was like, that kid was okay, but why is he staring at me? Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's how it's it's creeping me out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and that's when I realized you can't can't do that. And that's I, funny. I call back. That's funny. <laughs> when did did we meet on the first season of Relationship Status? We yeah, we did. We met uh, when my eyes uh, saw you on screen mm. when you were doing Rita Volk. You were not doing. Oh wow, that sounded bad. When you were d- on Relationship Status, season one, in that scene with Rita Volk in the car. Yeah, and. Um, some amazing, amazing work, my friend. I was because like, I was going to say, like, I, I was on set alone for Relationship Status Season mm-hmm. 1. So we didn't get to meet on set, but we met at, like, the screen. I think we met at the screening. I think we met some press for stuff like that. But yeah. I first really got to know you when I first watched you on camera. And I was like, this kid is a real Well, then we hung out in Salt Lake City this year. Oh, we had a blast in Salt Lake what City. What a time. Yeah. Relationship Status is premiering soon. I don't know the exact date. We We were talking about it. We're not sure on the exact date, but it's soon. It's in a couple weeks, I, I think. think I and then it's going to run through like Thanksgiving. November 1st was it? Yeah. I've been hearing. I'm I think sure. something like that. And then it runs through Thanksgiving and into Christmas time and, and yeah. stuff like that. I'm really excited or for that. Or the holiday time. I don't know what you're supposed to say these days. Yeah. Christmas, holiday, whatever. I don't know. Anyway. And then Will and Grace, man. Let's talk about it quick. Unbelievable Dude, experience. You're awesome. I mean, I've worked with, with um, uh, amazing actors, and there's one to my right who's pretty oh damn boy. good. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, come on. You know you're good, but she's so modest about it. It's the best. But these people, I mean, what, Eric McCormick? Yeah. Megan insane. Blair, no, yeah. insanely talented. And it literally started at the table read. When I started hearing, you know, they hit the, the, the director, James, said action, and they start doing it, and I hear their voices as I'm there, you know, within three feet, and I'm like, Wait a second. This is not. I'm not watching TV here. This is not their voices on on a in a, a digital on the sc- on on screen. They're right in front of me. And then th- when I started to realize they were like almost off book already. This is literally the table where you're not really supposed wow. to be off book. Wow. I, that's when I literally was like, oh boy. So they're going. <laughs> it's time to up your game. Blonde. They're going full oh. out. Full out. The, wow. the, the, the jokes are snappy, zippy, and I'm sitting there. With my character be like, um... That's awesome because I've been to table reads like you were saying. I've been to table reads where people are just mailing it in and it's kind of like... I mean, which is fine. You save it for the for the day or whatever. But that's so fun to be part of that. Gosh, and I'm sure it just... Word it upped word. your game you probably too. A, a, anything. It wow. completely upped my game. Yeah. I realized, okay... You got to keep up. Wow, um, man! So I, I did. I, re- I, you know, I studied harder. I was like prepared, and it, it went great. Oh, that's so You've cool! You've always been prepared. But no, I, I think I'm a pretty professional. Actor, I want to hear. I'm so excited for you. Here's what I want to hear. I don't tell me right now. We're teasing this. We're gonna talk about it after the break. Oh, I want to no. hear about the moment you got the phone call that you got that job. Don't tell me right now. We're gonna talk about it after the break. Okay. That's what I want to hear okay. about. Let's take a break. Check out the Brett Davern Show on Facebook.com slash Brett Davern Show. IW Radio. Thank you for watching on YouTube or for listening to the podcast version of our show. We love you. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message. Sometimes rules don't allow us to play that kind of stuff on YouTube or on the podcast. Just putting it out there. 
back with more show in a few seconds. All right. All right. Let me unmute my own microphone. All right. Back on the Brett's Average Show. What's up, everybody? Um, Michael, yes. the day you got Will and Grace. Let's hear about it. Oh, man. I auditioned in the morning. Um, it was good. It went well. You know, I was like... Wow. And you heard the same day that you got it? That night. Really? Wow. I got, a, I got a text from my manager, and this is a weird, not weird, it's amazing. I was actually hanging out at Tyler Perry's house. Whoa. Well, yeah. That's pretty baller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've become, uh, we've become you know, uh, buds since I, I, I booked a role in a show called The Haves and the Have Nots. Yeah. So we shot that. Yeah. So invited a bunch of us over, a bunch of us, you know, actor friends and whatever, and we were watching uh, Detroit in his movie theater, and I got a text and I almost like ignored it. I'm like, you know, I'm sitting here. I don't want to, you know, be rude. Yeah. And I looked at it, and, and my manager goes, "You need to call me." I was like, you know, I just ignored it. I didn't want to deal right then. And then he texts, <coughs> and he texts me again. He's like, "You're the choice for Will and Grace." Whoa. And I, I had to leave the theater and like call him. Like this. Did you start jumping up and down and I, going I, crazy? Well, I want no. I was in the middle of a, a movie with at Tyler Perry's house. I didn't want to blow. You know, I didn't want to talk about that right then. So I left. Wow. And, like, went into the you know his living room. That's amazing. And, and wow. yeah, it was it was a surreal experience. Dude, we talked about yeah, really grateful to be on the. A couple show. fist pumps into the air. It was pretty pretty weird. Then nice. I went back into the the movie theater, watched. You know, it's just, did you walk back in and stand in front of the movie with it yeah. projecting onto you just and go going like this? I just booked Will yeah. and Grace. Yeah. That's what you should have done. You know what? What it really hit me was when like I had the table read, but being around Sean Hayes, who plays the yeah. role of Jack, that guy might be a comedic genius. Yeah, he is. So he, I think no, he, he is. is. I think he is. I was watching him do things that were just. I blew my yeah, mind dude, on the fly. That's awesome. Amazing. So just, I'm just grateful to be involved. It's I, incredible. I, I, you know, on a show like I that. just realized that I need my notebook, which is in my backpack, to play the game. So I'm gonna run out and grab it. Katie, play the intro, and then tell people how to play the game. I'll be right back. I gotta go. All right. It's guess who's higher? The IMDb Star Meter game. On, let's play the game. All right. Show is really sexual. Katie, do we have a caller to play the game with? We have a caller. All right, let's pod her up and I'll talk to her. Hi, this is Brett Hi. in North Hollywood, California. Who's this? This is Kayla. I'm Hi, in Texas. Hi, Kayla in Texas. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm 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 well. I'm I'm really excited to play the IMDb game. Are you excited to play the IMDb game? Sure am. I don't believe you, Kayla. Let's try that one more time. Are you excited <laughs> to play Guess Who's Hired the IMDb Game? I am very, very, very excited. I still don't believe you, Kayla. I need to hear you yell and scream and jump up and down that you're excited to play the IMDb <laughs> Game. Ready? Kayla, are you ready to play Guess Who's Hired the IMDb Game? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, I'll leave you, you alone. That Fine. Was that all right, impressive? Kayla. Here's how it works. Uh, you already played the intro, right? When I was running out. Okay, yeah. good. Here's how it works, Kayla. We're gonna play three rounds of Guess Who's Hired the IMDb Star Meter game. I'm going to read you two different actors, or or actresses, or whatever, and you just tell me who's higher on the IMDb Star Meter. Higher meaning closer to one. That's how you play, Michael. Yeah, I'm yeah, explaining gotcha. it to you too. Sure, Even though it sounds like I'm only talking to I Kayla. I'm writing down the rules. And Kayla, if you beat Michael Galante, you will win fifty dollars. I'll send you fifty dollars in the mail. Michael, if you win. Um, we will both pull up our shirts and touch stomachs. Yeah, I can't. I know you're excited for can that. Can you win? Can All right. Win, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kayla, you ready? Yes. All right. Actually, it's funny that you were just talking about Tyler Perry because literally the uh, theme for this IMDb game is uh, Tyler Perry. It's the Tyler Perry edition of Guess Who's Hired the IMDb you Game. I'm not kidding. making that up. Wow, See, my notebook is amazing. right here, and it really is. Cool. Because uh, Boo 2, Medea's Halloween, is yes. coming out soon. So that's why we're playing Tyler Perry edition. Okay, okay here we go, everybody. Round one. So each round is going to be Tyler Perry and then just a different you know, actor. Yeah. Okay, so round one. Who's higher on the IMDb star meter, Tyler Perry or Denise Richards? They were both in Medea's Witness Protection in 2002. That's the connection. So let's, uh, we'll, get, we'll go? let Kayla go yeah, first. Okay. Ladies first. <laughs> Kayla, who's higher? Tyler Perry or Denise Richards? Uh, Denise Richards. Okay. Michael? I'm going to go Tyler Perry. All right. Michael is in with Tyler Perry. 
She's in with Denise Richards. Denise Richards is higher. Okay. Uh oh. Michael's, one point for Michael's Kayla. Down one to nothing. How, how many questions? <laughs> Just three rounds. Oh, man. Okay. In 2009, Tyler Perry was in Star Trek in a very strange cameo <laughs> in Star Trek. He was like the head of the Federation school or something. Anyway, who's higher, Tyler Perry or one of the other stars from Star Trek, John Cho, Mr. Sulu? Michael, you're first. I'm going to go Tyler Perry. Michael's in with Perry. Kayla? John Cho, so hot. Mmm. So hot. John Cho is higher. Oh, God. Oh, is he on? Michael. Oh, 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 no. Stay down. Oh, no. I think, I mean, that's the game. We'll just play round three for fun because there's no way you can possibly come back now. Uh, would I, I touch your nipples? <laughs> <laughs> round number three. <laughs> so it looks like I'm sending Kayla 50 bucks. Round number three. Uh, Medea goes to jail 2009. Who's higher, Tyler Perry or Whoopi Goldberg? This round's just for fun. Michael Ooh. already lost. Well, yeah, it's Whoopi. Okay. Wait, are you on a computer looking this up? <laughs> Hold on. Did you just... Kayla like might be Google cheating. That. Yeah. Michael? Like, oh, wait, let me refresh Do we have that. an answer? <laughs> uh, 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 Whoopi. Okay. Uh -huh. It Did is you Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, God. You're both God, correct Lord. on that one. <laughs> but Kayla wins the game. Kayla, stay on the line. We'll get your address. I'll send you 50 fresh dollars in the mail. Thanks for calling the Brett Davern Show, and thanks for joining in the fun this Congrats, morning. Congrats, Kayla. Good work. Thank you. Love you, Kayla. Thanks for listening. Tell your friends about us. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Bye, Kayla. I guess we found out who's higher. IW Radio. You can listen to the Brett Davern Show anytime. Just search for it on your favorite podcast app, but especially the Adobe app for iOS. Can't you see? I'm not gonna bend. Run away with me. I'm gonna call you on my real phone. Oh, I'll go away. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, you're still here. Okay, I, I thought I couldn't hear you. I love you so much. Save my ass. Um, you may or may not actually get $50. Hey. Hey. Yes. Let me text you. I can't hear you. Okay, okay, sorry. Bye. When I have no choice what? but to make a little noise and tell you.
It's the best thing Katie's seen so far today. National Geographic tweeted a photo of an animal that I kind of can't believe is real. It's a jerboa, and it is a mouse kangaroo with giant rabbit ears. That's all. And that's the best thing Katie's seen so far today. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. Follow at Brett Davern Show on Instagram for behind-the-scenes pics of Brett, Katie, and their guests. IW Radio. Back on the Brett Davern Show, Kayla winning 50 bucks. That was awesome. Yeah. First prize given away on the show. Kind of happy about that. History right there. Yeah. Super stoked about that. Um, quickly, let me mention uh, that musical break started with my good buddy Marty Shannon and his song Run Away With Me. Once again, you can find the album. It's called 2600. You can find it on Spotify. Uh, or iTunes or wherever else you get music. Um, it's an amazing yeah. album. He's super, super talented. I'm really, you know, he's he's such a good friend, and I'm really happy for him and proud of him, and I think his music's awesome. So I love playing it on the show, and you'll hear quite a bit of it going forward. Um, other songs we've played today, the first song was Fool by Fitz and the Tantrums. The second song was This Must Be the Place, Native Melody by Talking Heads, which... Michael, uh, we, we kind of want to start this thing where our guests, you know, tell us what they're into, tell us what they've been listening to, and we play it on the show. So that was your choice, right, Michael? Yeah, we, that started in college. I'm kind of an old school. No, oh, me too, man. Music guy yeah. when it comes to talking heads. And we watched that DVD. Mm -hmm. You know, you know mm -hmm, what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? When I know we exactly what you're talking about. Drinking beers. Yeah. And doing other yeah. things. And yeah. we would just rip it up. And we would all play, you know, we all played on our stereos at the same time. And yeah. And just be blasting through the hallway. Yeah. And that song is just like. So lots of good memories with that song. Dude, it's just nostalgia. It's yeah, just man. good times. And the oh. lyrics, if you listen, it's just all about, you know. It's the coolest thing about music. It just, it brings back memories. There's some good they music going in. on right now in this studio. I have to say that. Yeah. That's what you saw in the morning. Third so song of stuff. the day was uh, Savior yeah. by Rise Against. And then we had Run Away With Me by Marty. And then the last song uh, was Where's My Mind? Pixies, uh, Fight Club. Oh, soundtrack. When the Billings Go Down. Which, yeah. It's amazing. So, I love that song. Classic. It's a really cool song. Um, let's uh, get into more stuff with you, though, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> um, because I like talking to you, and while I talk to you, I get to stare into your eyes. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, get, um, let's get weird, guys. Let's just give us a uh, switched at birth story about producer Katie LeClaire. Oh. Pro producer. That's me. Well, she's I'm producer the producer of the, of the show. Oh, right. Of the I show here. Did, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. I was like, wow, you produced on, on the show too? You not only acted on Switch. <laughs> not on Switch, no. Um, I mean, I I got caught watching her sometimes because she's so damn good. Mm. I have to say. You are what I will say this right now. You are one of my favorite actresses in Los Angeles because you are that damn good. I, I mean, so you got caught staring into her eyes. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh -huh. Our first scene, I was watching her, you know, well, first of all, the, the, one of my favorite scenes in that whole uh that whole season was when you met um, Angelo. When you, yeah. What that, season was it? Well, it was season five. Season five, which, by the way, you can find the entire series of Switch to Birth on Netflix right now. Yes, it's all over. It was actually wasn't when you met him, but when you, um, the other character said, confessed that she had his heart. And when you discovered that, I, wa I wasn't even in that episode. And I called my parents. I go, you need to watch this episode right now with this girl Katie Claire, and just watch what she does there because that's good acting. That's amazing. And my dad was like, whoa, <laughs> I'll watch. But okay, so he called me the next day. He's like, I, wow, that wow. Girl is really good. She can really emote, huh? I go, that's acting. Thanks, and Mom and Dad Galante. What, yeah, it just it was so beautiful because she she, she was talking to this girl. Hey, you tell, tell. Oh, please. no, no. Why? Why? <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Uh. I, I was actually really proud of that moment. That moment in particular, I really did. Because like. it was amazing work. I'm really good, guys. I'm a really <laughs> good actress. The girl had revealed that her father, um, uh, who got into a car accident, 
she had a, a heart transplant and gave the heart to this girl. Yeah. And she went <clears> to <throat> tell Katie that. And Katie, in that moment, had said, I'll never forget this. She says, oh, my God. You have Angela's heart. And this tear rolled down her face on the, on the, <laughs> on the, on the right side of her face as she sang the line with the music building, and I lost my I've mind. Always I've wondered, wound it like four times. I've like, always oh, wondered how they get the tear to fall at the perfect moment. How did you do that? Now, do I'm, you... a, I'm a robot, and I tell my eyes to cry, mm, and they do. Also, perfect. the right eye cries easier than the left eye. Really? Every time. Interesting. So yeah. in that I moment, can raise my left eyebrow, but not my right eyebrow. Can you guys do the left. one eyebrow thing? <laughs> left eyebrow. Only. Can you do it? No. You can't do the rock like the jabroni, like, yeah. hey. <laughs> no? No. Can you r roll your tongue around like, you know, the like a burrito? Like, mm, mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm. yeah. I do that. Everybody That's genetic. Go to YouTube and see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a genetic I thing. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Wait, just for half a second, yeah. we got off switch. But I have to say, Constance Marie oh, is crushing right now also. Oh, yeah. Law and Order. Uh, yeah. Crime. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Menendez, the Menendez brothers yeah. thing. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to Constance who we got to have her on the show. Yeah, oh, let's bring amazing. her in. Amazing person. That'd also, be fun. You guys, amazing people. She's Dude, amazing. Michael, no, stop true. being so nice. Well, I know, right? Stop I it. should stop. It. Ratings I wanna, are I like hear controversy. You, what? I want to hear you just like when you're in a bad mood, wild you, out. Do you curse in traffic? Uh, all the time. Oh, good. Okay, thank oh, God. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. God. Oh, I just I, yeah, no, I just sit there and go, I love this. <laughs> I, I, I prefer this. <laughs> please, cut in front of me. Oh, please, almost hit my car? Go ahead. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just, I just, I've known you for years, and I just have never seen you really upset. And so it's nice I, to know that sometimes you do get upset. I try to live my life in a positive way, but I'm with good people right now. Yeah. You know, there's people I don't like. Well. You know, there's people Ooh, who suck. Tell us about them. There's just people who suck in this You business. got any names you want to throw around? No, I can't. Okay. I don't want to do that. <laughs> One I, more I, thing to do with you, Michael, yeah. before we let I'm you sorry, did I embarrass you? Is that out okay? of no, the studio? No, you're great. You're great. To, uh, great. But everyone should watch that episode. Oh, God. here to be embarrassed. Oh, it's God, okay. there's don't cards worry about here. It. What, is, what is happening? I've gone to the note cards, everybody. And they've got the breadth. That's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's the old legit. logo from the podcast on the back of the cards. Go to good. YouTube to see it. Listen, one more thing to do with you. I can't get naked right now. No. Okay. Oh, you guys never touch I, bellies. We'll we didn't do that have to. Yeah. He Thank, didn't win. I, oh, that's true. That was the prize if Good he job, won. Good job, Kayla. Okay. Yeah. All Good right. Job. You threw it on purpose, didn't you? No. Michael, I have two <laughs> note cards uh, in my hands, one in each hand. I'm going to put them behind my back. They each contain a line of questioning. You determine what line of questioning I ask you by telling me right or left. Ready? I feel like this is a lose-lose. Go I'm ahead. I'm going to go left. Ten questions. You uh, pick the line of questioning called ten questions. The other one's called this or that, but okay. we never play okay. that. Ten questions with Michael Galante on the Brett Davern Show. Here we go. You got this. They start out easy, and then they get I can't wait. deeper and more intense as we go along. <laughs> Question number one. What is your most used emoji? The... The crying one, like I mean, laughing like and laughing crying, crying, or crying, crying, crying. No, no, no. Oh, thank God! I was like, <laughs> oh, Michael. Do. It said people that I've said. No, I was like, here I am talking about what a happy guy he is, and I felt like I needed to throw these headphones off and go over there and give him yeah, a warm embrace. The, the laughter cry one. No, not the depressed. <laughs> hey he's guys, like, how you doing today? So he's he's like, like, speaking of a single tear, those are all my emojis. Oh. oh. Nice. oh. Okay, uh, question number two. Yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, the guy or girl? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me, man. It's going to be a girl. The girl from uh, Pretty Little Liars, the dark-haired one. Lucy Hale? No, the oh. other one. Uh, <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, this is bad. This is Shay, Shay, Shay Mitchell. Mitchell. There you go. Yeah, really talented, really good. All and, right. You know, beautiful girl. All right. Question She's number great. three. What's your most watched movie? So I don't know if it's your favorite movie or not, but it's the movie you've seen the most amount of times it's in your life. It's kind of an off. Uh, it's, it's a different one. It's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah. It's a great movie. One That's a great one, movie. One of the greats. Fantastic. I just like Jack Nicholson. Nurse great, Ratchet. So. Oh, Nurse Ratchet. Yeah, they're mm. all amazing. Mm. That is. I was going to make a... Nah, never mind. Number four. What is your go-to coffee shop order or what do you order at a bar? I mean, you can you can pick which one you want to answer. At a bar? But, like, I'm saying, like, you walk in, 
and you just boom, you just order it almost every time. You're like, this is my order. Jack and Coke. Okay, that's whiskey, at a bar. Whiskey. Just whiskey and Coke. It's a good standard. Every it's bar has it. Good drink. You don't have to worry about looking at the shelf or anything. Just boom, whiskey and Coke. And what about coffee shops? Um, at Starbucks, they have this nitro brew thing. It oh comes, yeah, it's unreal. So you it do looks, that looks one. Looks like Guinness. I get that. Is time. it iced or hot? It's uh, it's not even iced. It's it not over iced, but it is cold. It's ah. legit. Oh, it's like in a bottle. No, no. Uh -oh. it comes out. It's a, a Guinness. It's a Guinness. Oh, a coffee. Wow. It even has like a little head on it. It's amazing. Really? Yeah, it's amazing. Do it. Velvety, huh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Kidding about you? Mm. We do it. That sounds good. So good. I might have to try that. Yeah. It's like eight dollars. <laughs> also, only some Starbucks have them. Not every Starbucks has That's it. That's right. Ah, kind of like wine. Yes. Yeah. Some Starbucks have booze, by the way. I don't know if anyone knows that. I didn't know that. Some, some Starbucks have booze. What? Where? Yeah. Shit. I don't know. There's some in Seattle for us. sure. Talk to me. Let's go yeah. some wine yeah. Starbucks. There's other places we could get wine, but yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Number five. Did you ever have an AIM, AOL Instant Messenger? And if so, oh. what was your screen name? And don't tell me you forgot. Come on. It, oh, my God. I, I know you had, had one. It had something to do with soccer, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it was like the movie Sheep. No, I think it was just. He shoots, he scores. I think it was just, I think it was just like my first. I really not. Mm. I had the weird away messages. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah, the away messages were what good. Is that? Away messages so you could leave up like what you were doing. Yeah. And I would always like leave flirty ones. You know, it was always like. <laughs> You're like such what? a flirt. Oh, yeah. Like I, what? I leave like uh, hitting the gym. Then, then, no, no, no. Then, no, no. Then hit the gym. Then, like, maybe the sauna for a little bit. Dot, dot, dot. Just, oh. like, the, just because it just would leave. You know, I was young. So yeah. Just leave, like, because then you get you get back and people. Can, of course. Like, oh, that was great. I was just talking about so with someone the other day about like <laughs> AOL chat rooms and stuff when that was the thing. And like, yeah. you'd go on and you say, uh, "Yo, what's up, everybody in the room?" And then like someone starts talking to you and you'd be like, yeah. "What's up, girl? ASL," which was like age, sex, location. Yes. Remember that? Right. ASL yeah. was like that's how you started. The ASL company. girl. Right. Yeah. What's up? What's up, girl? Girl with a U. Age. Sex What's up, girl? Location. ASL. Oh. Um. <laughs> man, memories. Number six. You can only have one of these. Okay. So I need you to pick one. Uh -huh. The Rolling Stones or the Beatles. That's a tough one. I know. Um. Rolling Stones. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Why it's is that? A little more rock? A little more rock. A little harder? A little more fun. Mm -hmm. Whiskey. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Jack and Cokes. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven. I ripped this uh, question off from the Actors Studio. Who cares? But James Lipton ripped off his whole line of questioning. Who cares? So yeah, that's you're what I'm such a... Who cares? <laughs> what sound or word do you hate? This is an easy one. Uh-huh. Should I do word or sound? Whatever you want. Do both. The sound of people eating oh. is one of... There's actually a, th a, a word for it. It's, like chewing? Like chewing food with mm -hmm. like their mouth open. That noise, there's something that just bothers me. It okay. just really bothers sure. me. Sure. I literally feel resentment when I see or when I see or hear that. But I actually looked it up, and there's actually like a, um, a phobia. Really? And you can Google it uh, uh, of why that sound bothers a lot of people. Right. It's like a thing. It's Infuriating. Like a thing. Yes. And what's the word that you hate? Um, moist. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one for a lot it's of people. It's just, it's awful. Yeah. Number eight. Or, or soiled. That's another Oh. One. Yeah, sorry. Did I just I didn't realize that? I didn't like that so word yeah. until you just said it. There's nothing good about oh. soiled <laughs> ever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number eight. Do you prefer wearing boxers, briefs, boxer briefs, or commando? Oh, man. This is live, huh? Uh, I'm going to go... Boxer briefs, but commando's fun sometimes. <laughs> I like that answer. Yeah. Without looking, do you know what color you're wearing today? Gray. <laughs> well, gray. I'm colorblind, so I, it's gray. It's gray. Does it match your shirt? You can check if you want. Yeah, it's gray. Do you want to check? Sure. But it's like it's gray. You want to show? Colorblind? You want to show YouTube? Colorblind. You can not, show not YouTube. Not all colors, but a lot of colors. Show YouTube your underwear. No, yeah. just <laughs> um, number nine, Michael Galante. Yeah. What's next? Um, I'm going to be, you mean acting-wise? I don't just, know. Just in life? Anything. 
I'm going to Florida to hang out with my grandmother. Nice. For a couple of weeks. Yeah, she's 93. Wow. And she requested my presence. She's getting older now. Sure, and sure, I, sure. I want to spend some time. I go to see her. What part of Florida? Uh, Bradenton, Florida. Okay. I'm go hang out with her for a week, take her out to dinner. Just How's she doing time. with all the hurricanes and everything? She's uh, okay, she's, obviously. My aunt was amazing. They went down there and picked her up before the hurricane came, got her uh, up to New York. Oh, good. She waited so she didn't have to good. go. Good. Because wow. that would have crushed me. Good, yeah. So she's back down there now. But uh, okay. we hang out. We have a great time. That's I just awesome. Keep, there's something about grandmothers is magical. Of course. There really is. They've got all this history in this past that all, all I want to do is just listen to her story. It oh, yeah. brings me back. It's Definitely. Amazing. A lot to learn from them, for sure. 100%. Um, how are we doing on time, Katie LeClaire? Perfect. Last question. Yeah. Number 10, Michael Galante. This question is the most important question of them all. It's a simple question, but your answer will tell me everything that I need to know about you as a person. I'll go on a date with you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Galante, what is your favorite fruit? Heavy question. I'm telling you. Everyone thinks this it's easy, but it's, it's a hard one. Green apples, but I'm allergic to them. That's a wrap, everybody, so on another edition <laughs> of the Bread Tavern Show. <laughs> Producer Katie, say adios to the people. Adios, peoples. Katie LeClaire is on Twitter, at Katie LeClaire. There's a C at the end of it, but it's silent. It's I'll spell it for you since this is the third episode, but I'm not going to spell it that often. It's K-A-T-I-E-L-E-C-L-E-R-C. I'm on Twitter, at B-D-A-V-V. -B -D -A -V -V. That's two Vs, as in... Michael's very, very good looking. Did I mention he's good looking? Thank you out there for listening live on Adobe Radio. You can subscribe to the podcast version of the show on iTunes or YouTube or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. It's free, everybody. Just hit the subscribe button. And new episodes of this show will be beamed directly to your phone. We're three episodes in, Katie LeClaire, and we are crushing it. Crushing. Just an announcement to the people. There are enough people listening to this show that we could be standing at the center court of Staples Center and talking to the seats completely filled, and there'd be more people waiting outside. That's how many people have been listening to this show. We love you. We love you. This show's going great. Thank you for all the support out there, everybody. Keep on supporting it. And if you like what you heard, just tell your friends. Turn them on to the show as well. We would appreciate it. You can follow the show on any of the social medias, at Brett Davern Show, or you can go to brettdavernshow.com for archived episodes, photos, and more. Today's guest, <sighs> Michael Galante. Thanks, can be found on Twitter and Instagram at Michael M. Galante. That's M-I-C-H-A-E-L-M-G-A-L-A-N-T-E. Thank you, guys. Both Twitter and Instagram. And you should also Google image him. I'm just saying. <laughs> or watch him on Will and Grace. Will and Grace, Thursday nights, 9, 8 central on NBC relationship status on Verizon Go 90 coming soon and Michael's also going to Florida soon I don't want this to end <laughs> <laughs> once again for Katie LeClaire I'm Brett reminding all of you to be kind and take care of each other we'll see you tomorrow that was our show good night Michael's sweet sweet grandmother Adobe Radio. Did you know you can watch The Brett Davern Show on YouTube? Yeah, you can. Go to youtube.com slash Brett Davern Show.